Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Vixen Tarot After Dark. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Atisha Yofo. If you guys haven't already joined the fan, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it. That way you guys don't miss all more energy updates from me. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, please go ahead and click the link tree in the description box down below. Also, if you want a reading as well, we are celebrating Halloween this month. We are doing all different costumes, trying something new, something like a personal thing for me. Um, and so I figured, why not be the devil? We are doing earth signs. So right now I'm going to start off with Capricorn, okay? Um, Capricorn, we're going to get your energy. What's going on with you right now? Um, also, what tasks you need to handle? What challenges you're facing? What's your personal strengths? Um, we're also going to figure out what is some advice from spirit. And then we're also going to pull more cards for your person. So right now, uh, what I'm seeing here is we do have the Five of Cups in reverse Capricorn that came out. Uh, what I'm feeling from this right now is that you guys are definitely wanting some forgiveness from someone. I don't know who exactly who that could be. Um, and so right now it's kind of as if you're, I feel as if you're facing a disappointment with something. Um, it's not easy what you're going through right now. Um, but you know, maybe it's something out of your control. So you have to be really proud of yourself for that. Um, you you've done a lot of inner work as well. So I feel as if now you're ready to release something and move on. This could be a person, place, or a thing that you want to release. Okay. And so I feel as if, you know, you're going to go through a recovery, um, you may regret whatever happened. You, I feel as if you are accepting it as well. Um, but, you know, it's going to leave you to personal freedom with the Five of Cups here, okay? Even though it was very painful in the past, it could have hurt you. Um, you acknowledge that, you know, life is full of what you make it. And so you're deciding to uh, be more positive. Um, you guys aren't trying to figure it out anymore i feel as if you know you used to have trouble letting go and now it's kind of like it's good to really face your shadow self and really figure out okay is this for my highest good or is it not okay um so right now you know bring your feelings to the surface i feel as if you've been in the dark for a while um you're moving on change is uncomfortable but it is definitely necessary in order to elevate life right Okay, so we do have the King of Discs that came out here in reverse Capricorn. So what I'm feeling from this is that a lot of you guys may need to release pride and ego in situations, okay, when the King of Discs comes out in reverse. Also, too, that could mean maybe worry about your spending. Don't try and spend money on things that aren't conducive to your future, okay? Uh, Spirit is also telling you to really focus on being that one percent or that three percent or you know getting your business out getting it rolling and that's where you should invest your money into is back into yourself into something that's going to bring you fortune in the future right with the king of discs here but mainly I'm getting ego also too Spirit wants you to really focus on changing your mindset as far as you know relationships okay money isn't everything but it does give you options so i know capricorn you guys are all about the coin right but you know they want you to kind of think about love spirit relationships in a different light when the king of pentacles comes out in reverse let go of pride and ego old ways of thinking things okay we also have the tower card here this is the current challenge that you're facing with the uh, with the tower card what I'm feeling from this is that there's a big major change that happened. Something occurred. Um, but I'm feeling as if you guys definitely are, you dodged a bullet. Let's just say that. You definitely dodged a bullet. Okay. And so now it's like, it's as if, okay, now I got to get back up. Okay. So that's what the tower card is. And you're kind of picking up the pieces from the rumble and you're actually like using them for, for good. It's like you're, you're flipping the coin here. Okay. Um, you're taking preventative measures to kind of ease the blow of a situation here. And so I feel as if you're doing everything in your power to really uh, avoid any type of detrimental circumstances that could occur. Um, and you're facing your fears, okay? Um, I feel as if, you know, just try not to have any contradicting uh, actions here. Um, you know, make sure that you're communicating your thoughts, um, being honest, take risks. I feel like, um, that's what you guys are doing possibly right now as well, or you could be facing that as a challenge. Um, so be bold, put yourself out there. Okay. Uh, we need that energy from you, Capricorn. It's kind of like go big or go home, right? <laughs> We also have the star card here, okay? This is your personal strength. I feel as if you guys are able to, you know, get into hermit mode and recognize who the hell you are, take a step back from any type of situation, and really put forth that star energy, that quality, okay? 
feel as if you guys are also really good at going within and just healing yourself. You don't need anybody on the outside to heal you. You can heal yourself as well. Um, I feel as if, you know, you guys are good at lending a helping hand, helping everybody else out. That's the star, pouring into somebody else's cup without expecting anything back. Also, too, I feel as if, you know, let your freak flag fly when the star card comes out. So with the star card here, I'm feeling as if, you know, it's like people love when you're very authentic. As you see, as she's bare here in this picture. Uh, very creative. You're your own individual. It's kind of like, you know, when you see an open door, you allow others to see it, too. You help them out. So we love this energy, right? Um, and, you know, it's kind of like... What makes you different is something about you that makes you stand out, okay? You really stand out from the crowd. So that I feel as if that's one of your personal strengths here. It's kind of like um, you know how to guide yourself and to find out what is for your highest good. Um, so we like that energy. It's kind of like that flawless type of energy, okay? Um, you know, you're a stardust, okay? And I feel as if, you know, there's some things that get you guys inspired and that's what it's able to allow you guys to transform whenever you're in a healing phase okay we do also have the three of discs that came out as well capricorn so definitely what i'm feeling from this is that um spirit wants you to come together with someone okay this could be a relationship or a person a business partnership a new job um collaborate this is teamwork this is synergy Okay, Three of Pentacles. This is like teamwork to make the dream work. Okay, come together with somebody, grab all your ideas, whatever seeds you have planted. Make sure you're watering the grass. I feel as if you're gonna be collabing with somebody. Um, find like-minded people if you're not around them. Get away from people that aren't really serving you, that aren't really on your level with whatever is going on in the world right now. Because um, when you work together towards a common goal, you're gonna achieve your goals at the same time, especially if they're vibrating on the same frequency as you. So it's time to throw out the old garbage, dump the trash, and get with a new crowd of people, okay? Um, also, too, I feel as if you guys may find somebody that's yin and yang, okay? Um, it's going to bring out your strengths and weaknesses and also theirs, too, but it's going to be like whatever their weaknesses are are your strengths and vice versa. That's how it's going to work out. It's going to be like a holy trinity type of effect, okay? Um, so... I feel as if without a closed mouth, it doesn't get fed. Also, you want to ask people for help, friends, family, whoever it is, you know, um, that understands what you're going through and where you're trying to go, okay? So let's go ahead now. We're definitely going to dive into your person's energy here. So this could be anybody that you're thinking about at this time. Could also be another earth sign. We do have ace of pentacles that came out. We have air energy as well. Could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. We do have from the Ace of Pentacles here. Could be another Earth sign, as I said earlier. With the Ace of Pentacles here, I feel as if your person is definitely manifesting, okay? Um, they're all about their money right now. They're all about prosperity. They're all about building wealth here. Um, this person has lots of opportunities and wealth right now. So I feel as if this person definitely focused on just doing that, okay? Um, they got new assets. They got good fortune. So they're, they, they, things are going very well for this person that you're thinking about, okay? Um, they're not only rich financially, they're rich in relationships, um, career, family, things of that nature, okay? Um, holistically wealthy as well. So this person's pretty, uh, sounds like they're doing pretty good for themselves. They're attracting resources to them left and right. Um, they're onto some new ventures. Those of the universe is really supporting them at this time. However, we do have the Four of Swords in reverse here. So this person definitely could be burnt out, depleted, either from this connection or from something in life that's going on right now. They're very exhausted. It's kind of like... They're attempting to do everything at once. Um, if you're in a relationship with this person, maybe they're carrying all the weight, taking care of the kids, taking them, you know, to school or cooking, cleaning, and working at the same time while, you know, taking care of you. Um, it could be a lot, okay? They got, um, they're, they're starting to have a lack of focus here, either on the connection or maybe just in life in general right now. I feel as if their mind is definitely racing. Um, they're really trying to figure out their next step. Um, 
they're definitely ignoring their physical needs with the four swords here in reverse and it's causing them to be burnt out and exhausted um they definitely need to take care of themselves or else it's just going to get worse we do have the nine of cups here in reverse uh, with the nine of cups here in reverse i feel as if they lost you or some someone i feel as if this is an emotional card this person is definitely in their emotions right now they're in their feelings they're overindulging on something they're very impatient um, this person has unrealistic ex expectations about something. It's kind of like their vision didn't go according to plan, either with you or a situation here, okay? And they're very upset and they're frustrated at this time. Um, but sorry to break it to them, you know, I feel as if this person put in a little bit of effort. They breadcrumbed you. Um, they didn't put their all in. Things started happening when they could have been living a luxurious lifestyle with you, if that is the case, okay? I feel as if there's a lot of negative effects with them going on right now emotionally. But we do have the lover's card here. This person definitely, if you are in a connection with them or they're just, you know, you guys are split apart, they do love you. They still think of you and they want to be with you. They feel as if you are the one, but they just don't know how to come together with you. Or they could have found love for themselves, um, you know, and maybe they found a change, okay? Um, with the lover's card here, I feel as if, you know, they see you as um, the person or currently see you as the person right now. That's duality, the perfect companionship. Um, it's like that equal yin and yang, equal give and take. You guys can talk about anything under the sun. It's kind of like they see you as that one marriage material, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, whatever, you know, your status is. So, you know. If you're just crushing on them, then they really like you too. You know, if you guys are married, they're really in love with you. If you guys are dating, they're feeling you, you know. So take it, you know, how it resonates. Or if you guys broke up, you know, they still see you as that. And that's probably why they're very emotional if they couldn't have you, okay? Um, since the Nine of Cups came out in reverse, if you guys are not together, they're very torn about it. They're trying to gather some strength, though. You could also be dealing with the Leo. We did also have the water signs as well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the Cups here. Um, but strength card is Leo. So this person's definitely trying to build some strength. They're trying to muster up some type of uh, vibes or feelings. They're really trying to find the courage to maybe to connect to you or maybe find courage for themselves. You know, this person, it's like they face a challenge with you or in a situation right now. And they're trying to find some compassion and patience. Um, and they're trying to master their impulses. This person definitely wants to contact you, call you, text you, want to be around you, um, but they're not doing it. It's kind of like, you know, they're facing their fears in other ways as well. And right now they're really trying to connect inner and outer strength together. That way they can be a better person, maybe for you or maybe just for themselves. But I feel as if this person does have the tools, it's just up to them to decide what they really want to do and if they want to change their life. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in, Capricorn. I uh, hope this video resonated. Please comment down below. Um, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.